In part C of this experiment, we're going to be selecting an appropriate solvent to crystallize fluorine. To begin, we first need to add 50 milligrams of impure fluorine to three separate test tubes. I've added 50 milligrams of our impure fluorine mixture to three separate test tubes. And we're now going to test three different solvents, deionized water, methanol, and toluene to see which solvent will be appropriate to crystallize our fluorine. And we're going to add 0.5 milliliters of each of our solvents to a corresponding test tube and stir using a micro spatula to test what the solubility of our impure fluorine mixture is at room temperature in each of our solvents. We'll now check the solubility of our impure fluorine mixture in water at room temperature. We'll now check the solubility of our impure fluorine in methanol at room temperature. We'll now check the solubility of our impure fluorine in toluene at room temperature. Now that we know the solubility of our impure fluorine mixture in our three solvents at room temperature, we'll place the test tubes containing our water and our methanol in a hot water bath and we'll heat them to their boiling point. We'll continue to stir the impure fluorine mixture and our solvents using a spatula and we'll add up to 1.5 milliliters of each solvent to the corresponding test tube and we'll determine the solubility of our impure fluorine mixture in each solvent near its boiling point. We'll now check the solubility of our impure fluorine mixture in water when heated to near boiling. We'll next check the solubility of our impure fluorine mixture in methanol when heated to near boiling. Now that we've determined the appropriate solvent to use to crystallize fluorine, we're going to perform a microscale crystallization procedure of impure fluorine using a Craig tube. And we first need to weigh out 50 milligrams of our impure fluorine. The mass of impure fluorine is 0 0.0491 grams. I've transferred our approximately 50 milligrams of impure fluorine to our Craig tube. And we're now going to add a couple of drops of hot boiling methanol solvent to our impure fluorine in our Craig tube. And then we'll start heating our Craig tube with our impure fluorine and our methanol. And we'll stir. And remember, we want to add the minimum amount of solvent to dissolve our solid. We've now added just enough methanol to dissolve our impure fluorine. So we'll place our Craig tube in a 25 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask and place the Craig tube plunger on top and allow the solution to cool to room temperature slowly. Once cooled to room temperature, we'll add our Craig tube to an ice bath to complete crystallization. 
Now that our crystallization is complete, we'll add our Craig tube to a centrifuge tube. Remember to insert the plunger first and have your copper wire attached. And then flip the entire assembly. And we'll add this to a centrifuge and always be sure to balance the centrifuge. While we are centrifuging, we need to pre-weigh a watch glass. The mass of our watch glass is 35.3682 grams. The mass of our pre-weighed watch glass and our crystallized fluorine is 35.4003 grams. We'll now determine the melting point of the impure fluorine starting material and the crystallized fluorine. This concludes part C of this experiment.